everyone. This is Talk Time with Cynthia. I showed you guys my shirt earlier today. I'm going to see if I can show it to you again. I'm going to get up a little bit. And it says, Dot Wings. This is my own design. I designed this shirt. I have a, um, a t-shirt company um, through Teespring. And the only thing I don't like about it, I'm just do my own haul. The only thing I don't like about it is the colors are not rich enough. The black looks almost like a grayish black. And that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I like the V-neck. And I like my sleeves. I like the size and how it fits. And then on the back, I put wings on the back. Can you guys see it? The wings on the back? I put those wings on the back. Yep. I designed my own shirt. Because I'm blessed to be here. So I got wings on earth. So anyway, today I want to share with you guys. Um, yesterday was my birthday. And I know I said I was going to let you guys come. But my family just wanted it to be just us. So I didn't want to. I just wanted to, uh, you know, respect their wishes. Or their wishes. So I got a card. I don't know if you guys can see it. My card for birthday. Then also on the inside it says first of all it says um love you, love you, love you. And then on the inside it says, it says to sin. And every year we share just makes me love you even more. Happy birthday. Love, Big Ron. Yep. That's my birthday card. Make me feel special on my birthday. And I didn't feel like going nowhere yesterday, so I ordered Chinese, and that was nice. I, um, I, um, had broccoli, beef, and rice. And then we had some, um, Hot wings from when from when when Dixie. You know how they have their wings special. And then I said, I got my flowers. I got my flowers. Give me my flowers while I'm living. Give me my flowers, y'all. I need a better camera. I need a better camera. Camera. Okay. I need a better camera. So. I don't, I don't know how to show y'all other than this. And then I'll show you the bottom part. Which I love the bottom part. Okay. He laid the bottom part. So anyway, that's what I got for my birthday. Um, Which I don't ask for much anyway. No big deal. And besides, Valentine's Day is coming up. But that's when I go for the gusto. I try to go easy either on my birthday or on Valentine's Day because I don't want to make my family spend a whole bunch of money because that's who I am. So, of course, today I got another reading for you guys. I got another reading for you guys. And I just lost it. My computer did something really weird. But y'all are doing the day. Mm mm mm. But yeah, I had I had a good time on my birthday, even though I just spent they just spending time with me. Sometimes you have to do that. <clears throat> I'm okay with being around people, but for the most part, I like spending time um, with myself. That's why you don't see a whole lot of videos out. Because I just like, because I, I spend a lot of time doing stuff for other people. So, when I get an opportunity to just uh, spend some alone time with myself, I do. How many, how many is like that? Comment down below. Let, let me know. Okay. <laughs> 
Let me know who's my spirit animal. I'm trying to, um, okay, so I, I, I pulled it up earlier today, but what is going on? What's going on? Okay, so this is, um, so we're going to talk about knowing your words, okay? And about self-esteem. That's very important to being able to reach out to somebody else. If you don't know your worth, then it's hard to be able to make a difference in the world. Because you don't know what you have to offer. So, knowing your worth is very important. And this is through Elite Daily. And it's by uh, Camille Carver. C-A-V-A, -A. in my southern accent. Know your worth. Five small ways to build up your self-esteem. So this is talking about building up your self-esteem. It says retouch images and photographs are driving our culture to embrace unrealistic standards of beauty. As a result, people of all ages are left to struggle with their self-image images. However, the focus should be on creating an overall positive image of the self rather than trying to alter our outer appearances. Self-esteem is the manifestation of how we see ourselves, but many outside influences shape it. It is time to take back control and realize your individual worth. Although some of the following suggestions may seem silly, they will put smiles on your face, on your faces, which will ultimately turn into positive ways of thinking and lead to a mere permanent optimistic view of the self. Okay, they got a video here, so let me see. It says replay. It might be for this, might not be. I'm not really computer savvy, so we'll see what this is about. Oh, shoot. Let's see what we got. Skinny Pop. Yep, it's that good. Oh, that's a commercial. Okay, then. So then, then it says, everyone has the ability to possess confidence and everyone should learn how to successful, successfully find it and own it. Okay. Reinventing the meaning. When people think of self-esteem, appearance is the first thing that comes to mind. Although many people's self-esteem does depend on their looks, it shouldn't, of course. If you're not happy with yourself, you should do something to change it. But before you enroll in that 12-week intensive gym pro uh, program and spend your savings on supplements, you couldn't so, uh, spend your um and spend your saving on su supplements you can't pronounce. Look at what really needs to change. Self esteem should not be solely associated with a person's appearance. How how do you feel about your intelligence? How do you feel about your actions and morals? Confidence 
is the root of a person's entirety and it comes from within. So you create goals. Working towards something that you value is a great way to build confidence. The best part about this is that it can be anything. It can be a hobby of, about which you are passionate or something you never dreamed of doing. Whether it is uh, being able to do a push-up, learning how to play an instrument, or saving up your money to buy something special. You are accomplished. I mean, you are accomplished something. Oh, you are accomplishing something. Okay, so. Not only should you be proud of completing the goal, but you should also acknowledge the small steps you're taking toward... Mm, but you should also acknowledge the small steps you're taking toward the goal as well. It helps if you plan out these little steps, almost like a checklist. This technique works because it allows you to physically measure your process, progress along the way. Most importantly, the goal should be solely about you. So this whole thing is about you guys. Working on your self-esteem. You got to work on you before you can help somebody else. You got to help yourself first. I always say that. You got to give yourself the oxygen first, right? Then it says, uh, surround yourself with uh, good people. Important. It says the people who surround you might be influencing your negative thoughts and low self-esteem. Yep. Analyze your close circle of friends and family and ask yourself if these people are good for you. Friends who come complement and motivate each other have much healthier relationships than those who insult each other, even if it's only a joke. I never liked the people joking with me. I, I knew it was for a good reason. Don't joke with me. Don't call me to be word, because that's not who I am. Now, I ain't complaining about other people who is okay with that, but I'm never okay with something other than my name. I don't like hon. I don't like sweetie. I don't like dear. My name is Cynthia. Now, if it's an older person, I, I will let it slide because I know it's an, a term of endearment. But some 15, 16 year old uh, little girl calling me hon, sweetie. I'm, I'm having a problem with that because I'm old enough to be your mama. Don't talk to me that way. So, <laughs> I, I guess I took it to a whole nother level. I'm trying to tell you. So, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the, not even joking. You know, because you never know what people have gone through. You know, never know what their life experiences were. were so, hold up on the jokes, guys. Then it says, joining uh, groups also help to create a uh, comfortable and friendly environment. People who gather together for one common interest can create an empowering atmosphere. Meaning, let's get together, y'all, to make a better world so we can create an empowering atmosphere. Yay, we're going to change the world. Look, we're going to change the world. Because we got wings. And we're going to be able to fly above all the drama with the wings. Right? Yeah. You know it. Okay, so then it says, um, the next is love yourself. This is much easier said than done. However, do not 
underestimate the power of the thought. Okay? Don't underestimate the power of the thought. Everything we do starts with one thought. So the next time you look in the mirror, really look at yourself. Say one compliment out loud before finding a flaw. You know what I find about myself? I can I can get up in the morning, I wash my face, I can put, I, and I'm standing in front of the mirror, but I never completely look at myself. And, and you know, just look at myself. I comb my hair, I brush it and everything, but I, and I'm looking at the hair and I never really see me. So, I understand when it when you know the writer saying just stop take time and just look at yourself and just see you for who you are and when I'm saying look at yourself not just your face like the entirety of you like look at you look at yourself who are you what do you represent what are you putting forth look at yourself okay Say one compliment out loud before finding a flaw. Make a list of things you like about yourself and keep the list growing until you reach a hundred reasons why you love yourself. And then every once in a while, read it aloud to remind yourself. Keep a journal to write down short motivational quotes you you come across. And I know sometimes some people might find it hard to find a, a hundred, because a hundred is a lot. So I guess that's what she said over time, uh, you grow the list. But a lot of times, um, it's hard to um, uh, see yourself so a lot of times you can ask a friend or something, what do you think of me? What, um, what do I bring to the table? What is my qu good qualities? And a lot of times people see you before you see yourself. So that's a good thing to do is to, um, ask, after you feel like you don't um, ask yourself all the questions and, and then you, you can't, um, there isn't any more answers to the question that you ask yourself like, um, then you can ask a friend. And because a friend can see you better than you can see yourself sometimes. Okay? Then it says body language. This is the fake. It till you make... Oh, this is the fake it till you make it trick. Many times people can sense when someone is insecure. People, the people sit, study you uh, to take advantage of you. They learn your insecurities, then they take advantage of you, so you have to be careful. They see it from the way you walk, sit, or interact with others in a big room. You slump, your head hangs down, your arms lay tightly, uh, tightly crossed. Fist clenched, eyes wonder, voice low. To build confidence with others or in social situations, it is important to look approachable and open. Make sure you stand and sit tall. To correct yourself, to correct your posture, pull the crown of your head up high, breathe in, roll your shoulders straight up and pull them down your back while, while breathing out. Always keep a wide and open body by uncovering. Crossing your arms and always face your entire body to whomever you're interested in, I mean, in interacting with. Being approachable and comfortable is social 
in social situations is a sign that you are comfortable and confident with no with who you are. People will take notice. Confidence does not come from a number on the scale. Attention from the opposite sex or Instagram likes. All of those things can only create a temporary feeling. Ultimately, you are left with your thoughts. So learn to make them positive. So that's how we, um, having positive thoughts is how you, um, create good self-esteem the out you got to let go of the negative positive thoughts okay so i think that was all of it guys but yeah but so yeah well, yeah, you got to have good self-esteem. Um, don't, like, if you're smart, or, let me, no, I don't want to say that. Um, if you have low self-esteem, and you're smart, you, you would, you would dumb, dumb things down just to fit in with other people. And, and that's low self-esteem, so you shouldn't do that. And like you said, then people talk to you any kind of way, low self-esteem. Always speak up and make sure people know where you're coming from and what you will allow and what you won't allow. Um, but I think it basically, basically uh, said whatever else it, you know, need to be said. But those those are just my points. Um but let's just work on us so that we can be strong within ourselves so that we can help other people who are less likely to have or be able to have um a good self esteem. Okay, so anyway, that was everything that I wanted to say about that, and thank you for sharing my birthday gifts and card with me. I appreciate you guys so much, and um, I'm going to go ahead on and go to bed, because I had to go, and uh. <laughs> I haven't changed my driver's license yet, y'all, so I got to go and change my driver's license um, for this this period. I'm going to get it just for one month, one year. Usually, they, they, I think they allow you to get it one year, two years, or uh, I forget how, uh, if there's another option. Well, I'm going to just get it for one year just like I was because I have to pay for my daughter's and my um. Cause she's on my thing, so and um, but yeah, but anyway, so thank you guys so much for listening to me and sharing my birthday gifts with me, and don't forget to uh, comment, like, subscribe my channel, on my vi of this video and all my other videos, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, and thank you so much, and don't forget to tell your family and your friends about what's going on on the channel and thanks for keep coming back and showing up i appreciate you guys so much you don't know how much i appreciate you how much i love you guys um uh, for showing me love um it's so important to me it's so so very important to me and i just want to um say how much i appreciate my 13 subscribers i am so pumped about you guys I am so pumped about you guys. And I appreciate you so, so, so much. Um, but um, I'm going to go ahead on and take it in the bed. And let me give y'all a hug before I go. Love you guys so much. 
and I'll talk to you later. Bye.